Hey, this is Peter with Keras.net again, and this is one video out of six reviewing browsers for the Android system. What you see in front of you is a Captivate from AT&T, a Samsung Captivate. It's running Android 2.1, and in this video, we're reviewing Fennec, which is Mozilla's browser that was just upgraded to an alpha release today. So let's take a look at it. Um, as you can see, when you start out, actually, this is not the start page. Let's see if we can get back to it. There you go. Okay, so this is the start page. Um, as you can see at the top, you have tabs from last time. You have tabs from your other computers, which is going to be if you've synced your mobile browser with your Firefox browser on your laptop or desktop. And you're also going to have an add-ons feature. Now, at the top, as you can see, there's a refresh button and a URL and then a little tiny Fennec symbol up there. Now, clicking this on any page, is going to bring these options up. And this is identifying the page. It's telling you whether it's encrypted. You can do a search on the page, save it as a PDF, or share. Again, if you click share, it doesn't have the normal options, but it does have a lot of them in email, Twitter, Google Reader, or Facebook. So again, this is an alpha, so there will be some bugs. Right now, the program takes up 30 megabytes worth of memory which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you consider Google Maps is only 7 megabytes and most programs you're going to find on the Android market are going to be 5 megabytes and down, this is a beast of a program. Now, this does have hard swipes to the right and left, just like Dolphin Browser. Let's see, a hard swipe to the left gives us a back, forward, and a star button to start for bookmarks. It also gives us a settings button in the bottom right. Let's click that. So out of all the browsers we're going to be reviewing today, the preferences for Fennec, I would say, are the most visually appealing, the most visually easy to understand. It has little buttons right here that when you click it, it just does little sliders over, yes and no. Um, again, this is going to be pretty basic because, again, it is an alpha, which means it's two stages away, so it has to go through beta and then a final release before it's really polished and really ready to go for most consumers. Um, as you can see, pretty standard options, showing images on page, allowing cookies, remembering passwords, clearing private data. Your sync is going to be at the bottom of this page and is going to allow you to sync this with your desktop browser. Now, this little down arrow, as you can see at the bottom, is going to be for downloads, which we don't have right now. These two little bars up and down are going to be for your settings, and the last one is going to be add-ons. As you can see, it comes stock with Google, Amazon.com, Twitter, and Wikipedia as add-ons, but you can also um, search their catalog, and it has three top recommended ones. So let's go back to the main page. We're not going to install an add-on for now. Instead, we're going to use what they've already given us. So let's go back, let's hard swipe to the right, and hard swipe to the right again. Now, this is not bookmarks, these are your open windows. So it does not have tab browsing at the moment, um, but essentially these are the tabs that you have open. So at the bottom, as you can see, there's a tiny computer icon on the right. That is going to be either your tabs from your desktop or your browser. I haven't set it up, or sorry, your tabs from your desktop browser or your bookmarks. I haven't set it up yet, so I'm not. 100% sure, but um, it will do some kind of sync option like that. And this little folder gets you to your bookmarks. So let's show you guys here. So a keyboard automatically will come up to type into the search bar up here. There is a go button and a back. Uh, you have the option to see all bookmarks. You have your bookmarks right here. And then at the bottom, I believe, is your history. So the ones that aren't starred is going to be your history on this page. And then at the very bottom, if you can see, I'll, I'll try and swipe with my finger as best I can, you can swipe through those add-ons that you saw earlier. So there's Twitter, Wikipedia, swiping to the right will give me back to Amazon and Google. Now, these are tied in with the add-ons from earlier, but if you see is if you click on Google, it will just go to that page as a search rather than changing the search at the top of the page. I'm sure in the final build, you just click those buttons on the bottom to decide what you're going to be searching in this top URL bar. But for now, it just takes you to those pages. Again, on, oh, again, so it is, a, it is an alpha release. There will be a few bugs in it. Um, it has crashed on me once or twice before, but this will get better by, as time goes on. Uh, let's see if we can get anything. Okay, so the review is pretty much over. That, those are all the features it has. It does have pinch zooming. Um, you can find out more about this browser at 
blog.mozilla.com. It should be the top article saying that the alpha build is now available for the Nokia N900 and Android handsets running 2.0 and above. As you can see, it does have some bugs to be worked out, but if you are a diehard, if you are a diehard, excuse me, Mozilla fan, or you really want your Mozilla bookmarks to be synced to your phone, and you're more of an advanced user that doesn't mind a few bugs here and there and updating a lot, then Fennec, again, which you can see on the left, is going to be the browser for you. Uh, check out our other browsers as well as the complete review on carries.net. You can also follow us on Twitter. Our name is just Carries, or if you're watching this on YouTube, leave a comment if I've missed anything out. Leave a comment if you like the review, if you want to see something put into this as an update to a later review or anything else. Thanks again for watching, and stay tuned.